Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Vigilance League channel. I'm Sean Ryan. I know a lot of you guys are stuck inside right now and doing the social distancing and self-isolation thing and uh, I know how bad that sucks. I just live in a little condo in uh, Palm Beach County, Florida. Until I got tired of living in a little bitty condo in the middle of Palm Beach County, Florida and moved out to the middle of nowhere in Tennessee. So, um, figured I'd just kind of show you guys what I got going on here and uh, look at some creeks. Let's roll. So some of you guys might remember this spot from previous videos. I've done quite a few videos right here in front of this little uh, waterfall. And uh, so basically this creek is fed by natural springs popping up all over the place. So there's uh, a whole ton of them around here. And so I'm gonna kind of show you guys what they look like. Let's go check them out. So came up here just to get kind of a aerial shot with the limited equipment we have, but um, basically when I'm looking for water, one of the first things I look for is a ravine. So like this creek down here sits at the bottom of a, of a ravine, so the land's kind of doing this, coming down to a V, which pushes all the water down, obviously gravity, and then all these fresh springs are kind of popping out of these hillsides and trickling down to that creek. So, just wanted to give you guys a little view from up high. But, let's go down and check it out. So we did some filming down here yesterday. I've never seen this part of the property before. And just looking around here, I was able to pick out like five different springs that are all dumping in here. So that, like I said earlier, this creek is all, all these creeks around here are spring fed and, <clears throat> and also water runoff fed because we're down in a ravine right now. But we got a spring here. This is coming right out of the ground. 
We got a spring here that's coming out of the ground. We got one over here, one up on the ridge line, and another one over on the ridge line. And I'll show you a couple of these. But some things that I look for, and I'm no expert, but I'm learning, is uh, a lot of times if you see something like this right here, a leaf patch that's wet, and nothing is wet around it, and nothing's wet above it, well, you can bet that's probably uh, spring water coming right out of the ground there. So this one over here is a slow trickle, so it's really easy to see. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But as you can see, right here, this is doing a slow trickle. And here we have the leaves covering it, and they're all wet. Nothing's coming down from up top, so if I move all these like that, you can see it's coming right outside of this cliff face. So. This is, they classify these springs in, uh, I believe it's eight different classifications. And this is a small one, obviously. They say something about the size of a pinhole can produce 200 gallons of water in a 24 hour period. And some of the bigger springs, <clears throat> like the biggest one, I think produces 69.4 million gallons of water in a 24 hour period. So, you know, if these things are like a dime a dozen around here. They're literally everywhere. So you just gotta kinda know what you're looking for. But yeah, this is a small one and hundreds of these things all over the place make up this creek on um, what you see on my videos. So then we got another one right over here. This was the one that was just right behind me. So walk over here, I'll show you this. It's kind of a more of a seep, but um, So this right here, as you can see, like all the leaves are dry above this and this is coming this is just seeping right out of the ground here. And, uh, you know, this is pretty cool. I mean, water just doesn't really get much more pure than this. It's coming right out of the earth. So, pretty cool. So even right over here, if you kind of like get your eyes trained for this stuff, there's another one right here, which I, we didn't even see this one earlier. So this would be like number six within, I don't know, 50 yard radius. So you come over here, you can get up here. Right here, if there's water coming out of this down at the bottom here, right? There's nowhere for this water to even be coming from other than uh, from the ground because the stream's going this way. So, um, just another spring. So right here, this is another one. 
so I don't know if you can see this but like up top all these leaves are completely dry and then right here you see like a nice trail that goes down to the creek which is about 25 yards away but once again all this stuff it's coming right out of the ground and these little uh can't remember what the hell you call them but they're like little reserves under the ground and um yeah so there's a snake just kidding So a lot of people ask, you know, how I know the water's clean and, and um, I still filter it to be honest with you when I drink it. But <clears throat> one way you can tell, because a lot of people worry about, you know, if this came out of a cave, which a lot of springs do come out of a cave, well, bats live in caves and bats poop in caves. So, but one way you can tell how clean this water is, is I don't know if you can see it right now, but all these snails here, they only live in like the cleanest of water. So you can see all these trails that uh, are kind of going through the sand and th through the rocks and stuff. And then all of these little black dots down here are all little snails. So I'll just reach down and grab one real quick, but there's like thousands of these down there. And these do not live in polluted water. So there's a good chance pretty clean here but anyways just another little fact for you all right there it is so that's pretty much how I go looking for water and uh, creeks and springs hope you guys got a little something out of that even if it's just a little escape but uh, one of my primary things when we moved up here from our little condo in South Florida was I had to have a fresh water source and it drove my wife absolutely insane because I was not going to budge on it. But you know what? Now I never have to worry about a water source again and not only that but it's super relaxing to sit back here and uh, just listen to that creek flow. So, anyways, if you're looking at getting out of the city, getting out in the country and slowing things down a little bit, I can tell you what, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. So, all right, stay healthy. I'll see you guys soon.